Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. This is a live edition of Across the Cav Pulse Game. To everyone watching on every platform, what a win, what a game, what a night. No Donovan Mitchell, no Evan Mobley, no Darius Garland, no Sam Merrill, no Karis LeVert. No problem. What a win. For the Cleveland Cavaliers. Two wins this week without Mitchell Garland and Mobley. Three members of the key court. So many pieces are missing right now. And yet, everybody steps up. And they went with a nine-man rotation tonight. And what do they do? They take down the Bulls, who had been 8-3 and three in their last 11. Levine or not, that is a team that had been playing some very good basketball. Man, is it a good time to be a Cavs fan. 10.27 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday night. It is electric, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you don't miss games. When you have time on the calendar and the Cavs are playing, it doesn't matter what the record is. Who's playing? It's always let them know. And it will always be let them know. If I was recording during the seasons where LeBron was gone and they won an average of 19, 20 games for three straight years for Fani winning 33, eventually LeBron comes back. We still would have been doing this after almost every win, sometimes after losses, because the beauty of sports and of basketball are their highs and there's lows. You're not going to appreciate wins like tonight without some down years that have happened in the somewhat recent few, uh, somewhat recent past. Coming off a loss to New Orleans, where they had Lavert and only one half of Merrill, got a little bit of Amani in there. You didn't know what to expect tonight, being even further shorthanded. But my goodness, there were only 10 players that were available tonight. Dean Wade, Isaac Okoro, Jared Allen, Max Drews, Craig Porter, George Niang, Tristan Thompson, Damian Jones, Amani Bates, and Isaiah Mobley. Nine of them played. Got nine minutes of Amani Bates, a three-point basket in the block. 11 minutes of Damian Jones. Damian Jones was a team high in plus-minus. Damian Jones was a team high plus 16. That is not a joke. We, we've talked negatively about, about Damian Jones this season because he's done very little, but he knocked down a three, got himself a little three-point play. Tristan Thompson plus eight, four offensive rebounds, several other created opportunities. George Niang just running through everybody. Seven points, five rebounds. Not his best day, but he was tough. Craig Porter Jr. Man, this guy is the future. He's 23, and he's already he's ready for the spotlight. He was undrafted. 19 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, plus 14. Max Struess, 26 points, 7 assists, 2 steals, and a block. I don't care about the 12 missed threes because that man was shooting that thing with confidence. He was shooting with confidence. Jared Allen, 19 points, 17 rebounds, 7 assists, 8 offensive rebounds. You want to know what's what's tremendous? What pretty much says all that you need to know about this game, look at the second chance points and how the Cavs won the second chance. Was it 30 to 4? 30 to 4 in second chance points? They were grabbing everything. Every loose ball that was available was going to a Cavs player. They were active. The bigs were that. It doesn't matter that the, how, how many guys were missing tonight. I'm beyond thrilled about this win, and everyone should be, truthfully. Because they got ballers on this team. They got dogs on this team. Who's even, who's going to get the chain? It should probably be Sam Merrill, but uh, excuse me, he was out. It should probably be Craig Porter, but you could go Jared Allen. You could go so many different routes with it. This is just such a tough basketball team, and... There's some weeks and weekends, you have long days, you can't make it to the game live. And it is what it is. I haven't seen every game this year in, in real time, but I've not missed one. This is why. Cavs give me life. They give us all life. Craig Porter is the point guard. And finishing up, by the way, we talked about Allen. We talked about Porter. They're not the only ones on the team. Some other players 
giving some quality minutes. Dean Wade, 11 and 7, plus 12, two steals. Isaac Okoro, 12, 3 and 3, and not his best. Six of seven at the line. He got to the line. He stayed out of foul trouble and he played his defense. Proud of the whole squad. We all wanted JB gone a couple of weeks ago. And while that may not need to happen, at least as of yet, don't have to get rid of JB Bickerstaff just yet. These guys fight and they claw and they battle and they just don't give up. When have the Cavs given up? I'll tell you when. Never. Cavs don't quit. Fans don't quit. Cavs Twitter is a wonderful place. Cavs social media. The team is one of the best in the league. Every post is... If you're a fan of the New York Giants, you know exactly... You know what I'm saying. And if you're, if you're listening on audio, you know what I'm saying. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's bellissima. Cavs basketball is so back. Now wait until later in the season when Garland and Mobley are back. When they're able to clear out some of these contracts of guys that aren't playing. And hopefully all is well with Ricky Rubio, who may be now officially done with basketball. He steps away. Craig gets a two-way. There's another roster spot open. They could bring someone else in. There are contributors all over the place. It's been up and down. It took a little while to get the wins going and They've teetered around 500. And with all the upstart teams in the league this season from before, most notably the Orlando Magic in the East, the Indiana Pacers, climbing ain't going to be easy. Knicks did lose Mitch for the season, so they're clearly going to be a much smaller team. The Heat are playing good regular season basketball, whereas last year they were a playoffs-only monster. And all things considered – I'm still confident about the Cavs. I don't know what the playoffs hold. I'm just enjoying it as we all should be one game at a time. They held Chicago to 95 points. DeMar DeRozan, 21 points on 6 of 14. They held, well, Kobe White, 17, 4 and 7 with four turnovers. Didn't exactly wow. Vujovic had 20 and 12, but felt like he had no impact on the game. Alex Caruso, zero steals, one block. He was a minus 10. As a matter of fact, the only Bulls player that did not have a negative plus minus was Patrick Williams, who was a plus zero. The Cavs almost blew a big fourth quarter lead, but they got back on their high horse and Max Struess knocked down two must have threes in that stretch of time. And this is a win to remember. So we look at the Cavs with this win. Now it's 17 and 13. By win percentage, that puts them at number six in the East. Boston, followed by Milwaukee, followed by Philly, followed by Orlando, followed by Miami. She then New York, seventh, based on win percentage. But the Cavs are going to be fine. Struess was such, such a perfect addition for this team. And we should, there's not much else to be said. They, let, they held Chicago's top guys in check to the point where it didn't feel like they had a big impact on the game. And the ones that were out there for Cleveland had their impact felt. They shot 12 for 45 from three, but they never stopped, and they got some massive buckets as a result of that. Craig Porter can hold it down at point guard. It's probably even worth rostering in your local fantasy basketball leagues now. How do you like them apples? And... Isaac Okoro doing his thing. He's healthy. We missed him in the early part of the season. That's it. We're done. The Cleveland Cavaliers coming up with a massive victory over the Chicago Bulls. Thank you all for tuning in live. Zach White is with you as always. Across the Cavs Network 216. Some surprises in store over the next couple weeks for guests. Make sure to get there if you if you want to check out all the episodes and you haven't before. Apple and Spotify, type in Across the Cavs. Go to Instagram, at Across the Cavs. On Twitter, as you see on the screen, at Across Cavs. You'll get pods from me every week, some lives. You always get history tweets on X slash Twitter, some stuff on Instagram, all things Cavalier. Zach Weiss with you, Across the Cavs Network 216. We will see you soon. The next game will be against the Milwaukee Bucks on the 27th. Let's hope after a nice Christmas with the family, the Cavs can get healthy and ready for that. Peace.
See you next time.